Carrying on from the getting started with Wappler video, we will now apply a bit of theming. This is embarrassingly simple with Wappler. Starting with the navigation bar, I select the header element and change the background color to dark. For the navbar, I change the theme to dark. This affects the color of menu items. This becomes obvious when I change the background color of the navbar. I would like to add a bottom shadow to the navbar. To do this, I open the theme manager and activate shadow. Then I add the shadow class to the header element. Checking the index file, we see the result. Next, I tackle the footer, giving it a dark background. The text color is changed to light. Back in the index file, I find that the page background rather bland. I have found a beautiful brown color to complement the color of the aardvark. I apply the hex code to the background in Theme Manager. Wow! That looks fantastic. Now to change the color of the text. In Theme Manager, I enter the hex code for the text. Now we see how horrible the navbar and footer look against the content. I would like a darker version of the content color. A bit of background information is required here. The theme manager is based on SCSS files that are compiled to CSS in the background. This allows us to use SAS coding. To darken a color, we use the darken operator and a percentage of darkness. The same would apply if we want to lighten a color. In that case we use the lighten operator. Right. Let's do it. This requires changing the dark class, the class that we used for the header and the footer. Enter, darken, opening bracket, the hex code for the background, comma, the darkening percentage, and the closing bracket. Let's also change the font type for the headings to, Jockey1. Now a bit of background info on headings. Essentially, just by having a H1 tag on your pages, you're helping your website rank better. It may not be the strongest thing you can do for search engine optimization, but H1 tags are still very important for SEO because they tell both search engines and website visitors what the content of pages will be about. In other words, every page must have an H1 tag. Let's do it. Now, have a look at our creation in mobile view. The heading looks a tad too big. This is remedied by choosing responsive font sizes. The font now adjusts in size for each of the views. Thank you very much Bootstrap. The last thing that bothers me is the color of the button. To fix this I apply the color of the text as the primary color. The secondary color is changed to the background color. You must admit, the result is mind-blowing. In 4 minutes we have themed our whole site. You may want to change the remaining bootstrap colors to suit the project. I will leave it up to you to experiment. My name is Ben Plesier and my robot friend, Billy, supplied the voiceover. I hope that you enjoyed and see you for the next video in the series.